School shootings are so upsetting, so devastating, some school districts leap into action, while others just keep talking. More than five years ago, the horrifying video of the Parkland, Florida shooting attacked the conscience of a rural Tennessee sheriff. We sit back and sit back, and all, all, you, all you ever hear is people talk, talk about doing something. And I was tired of talking. I was tired of, of, of people saying, we need to do something, so we acted. Perry County Sheriff Nick Weems started a crusade to get door barricades into Perry County schools. We joined the sheriff in his fight to get the state fire marshal to change code to allow these life-saving devices. It worked, and now these door barricades are in schools all over Tennessee. Those same barricades saved lives years later in Oxford, Michigan. What we didn't know at the time is that the Parkland shooting also touched another local man, Brentwood's Paul Capu. He changed his entire business after the Parkland shooting. You know, a lot of people say, you know, someone needs to do something. And so, you know, I did. I started, I felt that it was time that I could do something and I did. He went from software design to developing weapons detection AI cameras. MNPS bought 135 of these cameras for COVID, but refused to update them for just $590,000 into anti-shooter cameras. We did story after story, even as South Florida spent millions to implement these same cameras. MNPS wouldn't budge. It is actual negligence when you don't take advantage of these situations that you have. The horror and ineptitude of Uvalde only intensified the need for school security. We reported ballistic glass has become one of the fastest growing security measures in schools. Eversafe out of Huntsville has put ballistic film on 2,400 schools, including an entire school district in Middle Tennessee. The film works beyond reason. Even AR-15s make only holes in the glass, which are insignificant because it's almost impossible to beat through even after the bullet holes. This summer, Nashville Public Schools chose to not even attend a demonstration here in Williamson County. It's a leadership issue, and, and um, uh, it's it's uh, uh, forethinking or proactive thinking versus reactive thinking. Unfortunately, with reactive thinking, there's usually a body count. Ballistic glass not only has a 100% success rate, it also would have prevented other school shootings. Sandy Hook Elementary was entered through glass. And now, more than a decade later, Covenant School in Nashville also entered through glass. Ballistic glass could have prevented both. We looked at SROs in every school. You might remember Nashville Schools Director Adrian Battle believes SROs in elementary schools criminalize children's behavior. But we found districts that use SROs only for safety and relationship and not discipline. There's never any situation where they see me as a negative role model. I don't do discipline. Uh, I don't tell them to take their hoods off their head. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here strictly to make sure they're safe. MNPS wouldn't even comment on that model, which of course challenges their claim of criminalizing behavior. Bob Allen, head of training at Royal Range. He spent 20,000 hours training Metro Nashville's police department and SWAT school. He called Nashville's plan for unarmed school ambassadors foolish and fatal. That crazy idea of unarmed ambassadors is just ridiculous. I mean, there'll be a victim laying there on the floor. That's what they'll be. You know, I don't care if you got all the ninja skills in the world. If I'm 10 feet away from you, I'm going to shoot you and you can't do any ninja stuff to me. We also profiled Georgia's Stop the Bleed program, a Stop the Bleed kit in every classroom. It's been established many children who die in school shootings could have been saved if tourniquets and training had been available in those classrooms. Georgia hasn't had a school shooting, but saved three lives with the kits. You really could teach it in less than five minutes. So I'm going to practice on you. Just loop the belt, hold it in place with the Velcro, twist, and you can feel how tight that is. Right away. Tighten, tuck it, all done. Less than 15 seconds. You just saved my life. Saved your arm and possibly your life. Pick your arm up. We reported on teacher and staff training for mass shooting. Brink Fiddler from Defense Systems trained schools all over the Mid-South, including Covenant. He discovered in his one trip to a Metro Nashville school brought in by the PTO that even though Metro Nashville Public Schools claims to train for mass shooting, the teacher training was non-existent or even filled with bad ideas. 
No wonder 70% of teachers in a Fox 17 survey said they were inadequately prepared for a mass shooting. The most surprising thing was none of them knew what to do. Worse than that is what they thought they should do was all over the place. As of this moment, despite all the options, Metro Nashville Schools has no SROs in elementary schools, no Stop the Bleed kits, no security cameras, no ballistic film, no door barricades, and some very questionable training according to people with credibility. A safety scorecard without a single check mark. Meanwhile, other systems are springing into action. Tullahoma City Schools adds SROs this week. Rutherford County cancels school for an all-county security walkthrough. Perry County is bringing in Eversafe for a ballistic glass estimate. That's just what we're hearing. I'm Dennis Ferrier, Fox 17 News, your Code Red Station.